Hey everybody, I'm actually uh, going live again. I know I just ended a video, but um, I'm going to go live here one more time. Um, I just showed, if you, if you guys just watch this, if you're watching the playlist on YouTube, um, I just showed you how to crack a, a CBCS lab. So um, what I've also been requested to do quite a bit is how to make, uh, properly make a window board. Um, so a lot of times when uh, you go, you send books off for signings, or even if you take them to conventions yourself, um, what people like to do is they like to make window boards. So that allows the artist to handle the book, but the only part of the book that ex is exposed is where the signature is going to go. So and they look they look a little something like this. I have one that's pre-made. A lot of times um, you'll see like the blue outlines here. So um, all that is is that's just your, your standard blue painter's tape. I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to grab a bag and board, um, and I'm going to show you real quick how you will, uh, you know, how you make your motherboard. So here we go. So basically what I do um, is just, I take a, take the book and uh, I know this is probably upside down real quick, but I put it in the bag so you can see the book itself, right? So the whole point of this is to keep it protected. So um, we're gonna cut a hole in it, right? But we're going to take the book out first before we cut the hole. But what I like to do is I like to frame out where I want to get the signature. Um, I'd like, I think it would be cool to have it like down here in silver somewhere. So it kind of, kind of blends in a little bit with the silver spider webs. Um, so I'm actually going to make a pretty similar board to the one that I just demonstrated. So, um, so I just kind of frame it out with the tape. I just put the tape right on the, uh, the book itself. Um, if I want them to sign right here, then you just kind of, just kind of box it in, right? So you just, pretty simple. Um, you just make a little frame for it. So once you get your frame made, this is the important step, right? You want to take the book out. Um, and what I usually do is, uh, even though you cut through carefully, what I usually do is I use a board, the same board over and over, because you'll get... I don't know if you guys can see this, but you'll see here you go little cut marks in it. Um, you really don't want the book to the back of the book to rub on that, so I just kind of have a designated board till it gets too trashed, and I swap it out. But uh, so basically, it's real easy. So you just you got you got it framed out. So you just take your sharp. You can use um, a box cutter like this. You can use a lot of times when I'm trying to be like perfect and have everything uh, nice and cut clean. I'll use a uh, exacto knife those work really well um i guess scissors maybe i don't know so once you cut it i need to change the blade in this thing okay can't even cut through this <laughs> can't, can't even cut through this bag um so you just kind of cut through it and if you actually cut through it and your knife's not super dull um you just pull the window out so so that allow that will allow the artist, you know, you got your book in design right there. So, um, after I do that, I just kind of, I put a nice uh, clean board in and then I put the book in. Now, what I always do and I always have on hand, since these are current books, um, I always have um, silver age for moderns because what you want to do is you want to take a silver bag right because you don't want this you don't want this even though you know most of the books protected you don't want it um you can still damage it right like this part can get still messed up so what you want to do is you want to double bag it so um well not double bag it but you put it in a silver or in an i think i grabbed a modern on accident yeah i did um, but it'll still work, I guess. I usually use a silver. But you just put another board or another bag around it, and then that's how you send it off. Um, if you want, like, a particular, um, like I was saying, I wanted silver. Uh, if you wanted a particular uh, pen color for the artist to use, it's good to, to write it right here. Like, I'll write silver on it in black, and then hopefully the uh, he notices that before he signs it. And, uh changes markers if he's not already using a silver one but um that's basically it it's not too difficult all you need is uh, a, sh a knife that's pretty much needs to be sharper than this one apparently but 
Um, just sharp knife, uh, exacto knife, uh, an actual box cutter that's not like got chunks taken out of the blade because it's used too much. Uh, and uh, some some blue painter's tape. That's it. Um, just make sure you got extra bags. I recommend uh, if you if it's a modern current book, um, use a silver bag. If it's a silver, then the golden age bag, and if it's gold, then uh, I don't know, send it in a top over. It's probably worth a lot of money. So, anyways, guys, thanks again. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this up on YouTube. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, comment, do all those things. Um, help me out. Let me know what you guys want to see. Thanks and have a good one.